Hey guys, hope all is well with you. Um, it has been a long time since I got on here to do Heart Speak. Um, life sometimes gets in the way or gets in the way and you just get busy and so you got to take care of that stuff. But um, feeling great, feeling excited to be here with you. I got a new painting behind me. Um, me and my wife picked that up uh, a few days ago and uh, it just reminds me of Canada. Uh, everything nature is so beautiful and it just, it resonates on such a deeper, more grounding level than anything else, you know, whenever we go to the ocean or with the trees and the forest and stuff. And, uh, it's definitely exciting. It's definitely exciting, um, to think about, uh, what it can offer you when you get the opportunity to go into a natural reserve or, just a place where there's just a, a, a deeper connection with nature. But with that being said, uh, welcome to Heart Speak Day 5. Um, and one of the things that my heart has been compelling me to speak about is negativity. And so, you know, we hear about negativity on a surface level. But until you've experienced it, and I'm sure each and every one of us have experienced negativity and uh, gut-wrenching, knife-slitting sort of way. And that, that's kind of extreme to put it, but that's the approach that we have to take when it comes to negativity, right? Because it's one of those things. And one thing I taught, I was taught when I started to study the whole concept of vibration, the whole concept of realizing that you can be subjected to certain things if your vibration is not in alignment with what you're trying to receive. Um, negativity can just wipe out everything you want from the standpoint of your goals, your dreams, your aspirations. Um, and what happens is, is it's so contagious. It's so contagious in that it seeks out people to latch on. You ever heard that, that quote, misery loves company? Well, same with negativity. It loves company. It loves to grab on to people. It loves to take people down. And the only way to diffuse it is with love. And that's what my heart has been teaching me, is that you can diffuse this by basically expressing love because what it does is it stops it right in its tracks. Because if you've ever encountered a negative person, and they're really kind of going in on you and just really, or not even you, but somebody else. And all of a sudden you say, you know what? I truly understand where you're coming from and you're entitled to your own opinion. I respect your point of view. And that person all of a sudden is like, wait, what? Well, you're not going to get angry. You're not going to gonna like yell back at me or anything like that. And it stops it right in its track. So that's one thing that I want to share with you today is if you're experiencing negativity, fight back with love, fight back with, with positivity, fight back with high vibration. And what you will find is that more oftentimes than not, either that person or whoever or what it is that's causing negativity is going to see things your way, or they're just not going to talk to you, which is the best possible outcome for anybody involved that has to go through that. So, you know, it's, it's definitely something to really think about because let's let's face it there are always going to be negative people no matter where we are it's it just <laughs> it never fails there's always going to be negative and that's why i've kind of you know i did this thing a while back with this blog and this podcast about waging a war on poverty waging a war on um on ill health and now it's like waging a war on negativity you know because we cannot subject ourselves to something that could basically ruin our lives and like I said I know I'm, I'm sounding serious about this but it's so important to know that this could potentially do that to you if you're not careful and so that's why I want you to just basically continue to reassure yourself that you're going to going to stay in the light, stay as positive as much as possible, not superficially positive, but positive in a sense of, you know what, 
what's the lesson here? What am I supposed to learn? What can I take from this experience that's going to help me to be a better person? And when you can do that, then, you know, you're evolving and transforming your life in a wonderful way that's going to bring unlimited, endless joy and happiness. And um, so that kind of um, sums up, you know, what I, I feel like I was uh, guided to say today on this video. And, and it's just whatever steps you need to take, um, do it. Don't hesitate. Don't hesitate because... The one thing about negativity is it makes excuses as to why negativity has to be present. So I'll give you a story, then I'll let you go. I um, I got into this group and uh, this group on Facebook, and you know, Facebook is notorious for you know people who hate their lives and who just. Oh, I guess I can't say hate their lives, but it is. If if you decide that you're going to attack somebody else, chances are you're not really happy on the inside with who you are and what you got going. But anyway, I joined this group, this screenwriting group, and, um, you know, I was scrolling down the, the page and I realized that nobody had anything good to say. Everybody, it was always about just tearing people down and making me seem better than you. And that's competition, and that's not what the universe is about. The universe is about creativity, which means there's enough for everybody to go around. Everybody can be um, world class, anything they did, they so desire. You know, it's all about creativity and, and 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 creation. And so, what I noticed in this group was it was one negative comment after another. And and the thing is, is I've experienced enough negative people in my life to know. When people are being constructive and when people are just basically trying to make you feel bad. And it was just the latter over and over and over and over. And I started to feel almost cramps in my <laughs> in my chest, um, in my heart center, because it was so much hate being thrown around and it was so much negativity being dished out. And this is what was making these people feel important. This is what was making these people feel significant. And, you know, that became, that was something that I was like, man, like, so what I did is I got on and I sent, um, I posted a message. I said, you know, I know a lot of people are afraid to post their work in this forum because of fear of what these other people might do. But, if you're one of the people that are sharing positive light and encouragement and constructive criticism, then my hat's off to you. And then I just left the group because, I mean, I don't want to be exposed to that energy. And that story just kind of conveys that if there's anything that's causing that type of um, feeling within you, heaviness, uh, uneasiness, and not did, like stagnant, tense energy, just walk away from it. Because if you can walk away from it, then you will definitely find something that matches up to um, you being able to, um, to just live your life in a very positive, inspiring, uplifting way. That's what I strive for. That's why I'm here. Um, and I want the same for you. So if there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. Other than that, thanks for joining me today, guys. I appreciate you. We'll talk soon. Take care.